Welcome back to ASUN Basketball Tip-Off. Bringing in the Jacksonville Dolphins, the women's team, now looking at the 23-24 recap. Their 11-20 lost in the quarterfinals. Some departures, some additions. Priscilla Williams, transfer from Oregon, who's with us here. Second year head coach, Special Jennings, Eden Battle, newcomer of the year in the A-Sun, and Priscilla Williams, the transfer just mentioned from Oregon. Coach, appreciate you guys hopping on and excited to have you here in Charlotte. How's the trip been? It's been amazing. You know, we're, we're thankful, grateful, happy to be here. So um, the A-Sun does a phenomenal job, and, and we're just excited. Excited to get the season started. Um, how are you feeling? It's been a long off season, I know, and you guys ready to see another jersey and just get on the floor and get going? We all know, man. Practice, you know, you had a summer workout, practices now, and so I'm sure the ladies are anxious to, to play against um, someone other than themselves. And so, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, throw a ball up, tip it up, and see what it looks like. And Eden, we'll start with the returner and this returning team and everything. For you, newcomer of the year in the A-Sun, well, now the expectations are raised just for this team in general, but also for you. So what are you excited about coming into the season with this team? Um, yeah, um, newcomer of the year was good and all, but um, clearly wasn't enough. So just trying to get everyone on board. We have some new pieces to the team. Um, so I think we could be very successful. we got a lot of talent on the team, so I'm excited for this year. And now going for back-to-back -back newcomers of the year, coming from Oregon, Priscilla, why did you choose Jacksonville? Why was this the destination that was best for you to continue your career? I definitely say because Coach Special, um, she knew my first coach uh, from Syracuse, so it's just best place to call home. She can get me to where I need to be, so put me in the best place to be successful. And Coach, so this team, every year, team's different. You bring in new players, whether it's transfer portal or freshmen. So how is this team different in the 24-25 season than it was from a year ago? You know, I think we have unique pieces in every position um, this season, which we, we, we weren't fortunate enough to have last year. And so, um, you know, moving forward, like I said, you know, when you have weapons on, on every spectrum of, of the court, then, you know, it makes for a good, good plan. You know, they say um, basketball is great. You know, the X's and O's are great, but you got to have the Jimmys and the Joes, right? And so, um, you know, we, we, have, we have that. And so I'm just excited to see us all come together and, and what it looks like against um, other competition. And Priscilla, the coming together is also an important part. And you being new, I'm curious of just your perspective of how this team has come together, has bonded, and the chemistry going into the season. Um, I definitely say throughout the whole summer, it was a rough patch starting, but we've all come together. It's a lot of new pieces. So figuring out even me eating, playing off each other. So we have, like you said, very good pieces this year. So it's been, it's been good for sure. And Eden, what is that like trying to just learn other people's styles and working it into spe Coach Special's system and everything and just getting that all figured out with new players? Yeah, um, it could definitely be challenging, but I just think the main thing is staying poised and just staying together. There's definitely going to be some highs and lows um, preseason, postseason, throughout the season. So it's just important to just stay together, figure it out together. And Coach, you mentioned unique pieces. What are some of those unique pieces? What are what are going to be the difference makers this year for this team? Man, you know what? Um, just, just so you know, obviously Eden Battle, Priscilla Williams, but you know we return, you know, Sanaya Craig, who was elite, you mm -hmm. know, as a freshman last year, um, rebounding ability, scoring ability. Um, you know, Jada Jones is, has been phenomenal this summer. You know, she's coming with a different attitude, different approach. Um, so she, you know, she, she looks great. Um, freshman uh, Mariah Knight, you know, from Kentucky, shoot the cover off the ball, um, works hard. Uh, you know, progressing defensively every day, and so she's just getting better. Um, Coco Mitchell um, out of Virginia, who, who's, who's an elite player, you know, we return Sanaya, Sanaya Garrett, um, Bailey Burns, you know, a Juco transfer, and so I'm just, you know, I'm excited. You know, Michaela Williams had went down early last year in the season. She was injured, so excited for her return. The um, same with Jada Duckett. So we, we, we have the pieces in every position, you know, it's just a matter of staying consistent and getting everyone to, to key in and, and lock in on what the, you know, what the common interest and the common goal is, which is, you know, we all say we want to win championships, but when you say that, you know, that looks different, you know, yeah. that approach is different, that work ethic is different. And so we're, we're working toward that. And Eden, she just mentioned a lot of players progressing over the summer and getting a lot better for this season. How do you think your game has progressed coming in this year? 
Um, for me, it's more of like I've been trying to work on a more mental aspect for me, um, just being a better leader for my teammates, especially when stuff goes downhill because everyone looks to me. And then when I'm not being emotionally smart, then that's when the whole team falls apart. So for me, it's more of a mental aspect I've been working on. But I'm always working on my game, improving my three, my catch and shoot, all that. And Priscilla, same question, but also just the new player in the A-Sun. What do you bring to Jacksonville? And then also, what do you think you've grown in coming into the um, year? I think this summer I have grown, like she said, the more emotional part too. Uh, I feel like we're both leaders on the team. We have a bunch of good leaders. But um, I feel like just staying consistent, I'm being making my highs too highs, my lows too lows. So um, I say just taking stuff day by day, trying to be more versatile. Um, on and off the ball, defensive wise and shooting. So yeah. And coach, now in your second season, right? Yes. Getting in the second year, so now some familiarity throughout the just the conference in terms of coaches and teams and stuff. With all the turnover, just with players and everything, is the one year of experience. Is that something you're excited to now go in and kind of have an idea of what to expect now? going into the year against A-Sun opponents? Yeah, I mean, I, I came in last year with the same approach. You know, the game is going to be the game regardless to, to you know, who, who, who it is. And so, um, you know, just looking forward to us being better than what we were last year, right? Um, competing against ourselves and understanding that, you know, we just want to be the best version of us. Um, I'm not here to, to try to be anything or anybody else. You know, I just want to make sure that I'm putting my ladies in, a, in the best position possible for us to see success. And, and that's from an individual standpoint and a, and a group standpoint. And so, um, you know, this, this is a competitive league, very competitive league. And so, you know, I, I feel like it's wide open because because it's so competitive. Um, but, you know, you, you have your, you know, Florida Gulf Coast, Central Arkansas, um, Austin Peas, and just a, a great league. Um, so I'm looking forward to the competition. It's an exciting year, especially last year. It was a dogfight for a lot of teams. There was a lot of movement throughout the season. That's something that's just common in the A-Sun. So you spoke about it for a second, but if we could dive a little deeper and just every single game is a dogfight. Every single game's tough, and every single game feels like either team could win. So what do you preach to your players just going in? Is it a 1-0 and mentality? Is it just every game at a time try and be 1-0 and or what? What is your message to your team throughout the season? Yeah, we don't look ahead. You just, you know, you worry about what's in front of you. Um, we, we don't, we don't jump games. We don't skip games. You know, we, we scout and prepare for every single individual game. And so, just making sure that they understand that at any moment, you know, we're not a light switch team. We're not here to turn it on and off when we feel like it. You know, you're to give your best every day. You're to bring that energy, effort, and intensity every day. And you know, that kind of take care of itself. And so, when you have that mentality that you're going to show up and play hard, you know, it, it, it eliminates a lot of the you know, trying to get them to play hard, trying to get them to this. You, you're allowing teams to stay in the game, stay in the game, and then you, down the stretch, you know, when you don't win, it, 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 it's because of that. And so uh, we, we don't look ahead. We, we, we're game by game. And just to close it out, I'll ask Eden first and then Priscilla, just what are you excited about for this upcoming season to get going? Um, I'm just ready to play with my new teammates and honestly win. We get a ring. Yes, I say the same thing. Play with the new teammates, bond. Get some wins, punch a ticket to March Madness. So, yeah. Get a ring. That's what's yeah. on the mind here. So, thank you so much. We appreciate you. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your trip here in Charlotte. And uh, good luck this season. Thank you so much. No problem. Here in Charlotte, North Carolina at the A 